This is the star of today's video. It's a pack of white glass noodles called shirataki. You may have also heard they're under miracle noodles. You can find them in the most Asian grocery stores and they are packed in 200 gram boxes that are exactly one serving. What is so special you may ask? Well, the entire package has only 28 calories. The only thing that is unpleasant in my opinion is the liquid that is stored in these packages. Some people like it, I don't. So before I start cooking, I first wash and rinse the noodles under cold water and let them sit in the sink for a couple of minutes while I prepare the other ingredients for my stir fry. The first thing that I will prepare is a medium sized white onion that weighs around 50 gram. I will peel it cut it into half and dice it into small bite-sized chunks. The sweetness of caramelized white onions work amazing in combination with shirataki noodles. Next is the protein sauce and I will go with 150 gram of skinless chicken breast that I will cut into small cubes as well. Chicken breast is one of the best protein sauces when it comes to calorie to protein ratio, but you can also use skinless chicken thighs or also a fish protein like tuna or cod. Also, if you want to add additional volume with few calories, I would suggest using a carrot and also kohlrabi as a stir fry veg. Especially kohlrabi is super underrated. Once everything is cut, I will make the sauce. And this is currently my favorite spice ingredient. It's called gochujang and is basically a spicy thick chili paste with fermented soy and is used in a lot of Korean recipes. It has 200 calories per 100 gram, but you only need one to two teaspoons per dish because it's super strong in flavor. You will find this with the shirataki in Asian grocery stores. So for the sauce, I will add 10 gram in a small bowl, followed up by 10 gram of mirin. Mirin is a sweet rice wine. For acidity, I will add in 10 grams of rice vinegar. Next is two cloves of garlic. I will use my garlic breast, but you could also grate them or chop them with a knife into super small pieces. Then for additional flavor, but this is optional, I will add in half a teaspoon or two grams of sesame oil. Make sure to weigh your added oils, calories add up very quickly. I will add a pinch of salt, 10 cranks of black pepper and optional, I could grate a small piece of fresh ginger into this as well, but today I'm not really in the mood for it. Now, I will mix this until everything is combined. You can add 10 to 20 grams of water, depending on how much heat you can handle. This is where you have to experiment though. I don't find this to be super hot, but better to be safe than sorry. Let's get cooking though. I will heat up a pan to medium high heat and fry the pieces of chicken first. I want to develop some browning on one side, so I will wait with the onion. Salt and pepper goes in, close the lid and fry this for around 90 seconds. Now we'll add the onion and start to stir everything for another one to two minutes, just until the onions get color. You don't want the chicken to get fully cooked now. Don't worry about it. You can still cook it through later on. Two minutes later, I will remove everything from the pan and set the chicken aside. The pan goes back to the stove for medium heat without any oil. Now we'll add in the shirataki noodles and fry them for two minutes until the liquid is completely evaporated and the noodles start to get a bit crispy. This is in my opinion the best way to cook these noodles and don't worry about the smell that could be a bit off, you won't taste any of that later. After two to three minutes, I will add back in the chicken and the onions, combine everything and then I will go in with my sauce. Stir fry this now for another minute or so until the pan turns into a fire red, nice looking noodle dish. This looks and smells phenomenal and if you want the last tip, eat this dish directly out of the pan. So the entire recipe has only 299 calories, 20 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat and 44 grams of protein, which is insane for an entire pan of food. Check this video out if you want to see how to make a low calorie chicken tikka masala and see you in the next video.